Hi guys and welcome back to today's video. I hope you guys are all doing great. Today's video is actually a collaboration with Emily from A Woman on a Journey. I will have her channel and as well as her channel, I'm also going to link down below her blog which is also A Woman on a Journey. I would encourage you to go check that out if you need encouragement, whether it be about motherhood, faith, marriage, and there's also some great articles on either favorite books for your kiddos, favorite TV shows, actually decent shows. I just read that blog a little bit ago and I loved it. So head over there just for encouragement and some practical advice for your home as well. As you can tell from the title down below, I'm going to be sharing with you what is going to be in our September's morning cart slash basket. It's literally like one of the same, so I'll show you that here in a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you kind of what books we'll be reading, kind of what simple unit study we have planned, and then of course just a quick look at some of the curriculum that I have on there that we do on a daily basis. But yeah, I do hope you guys enjoy today's video, and as always, if you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let's get into it. This is actually a cart. I got this probably a few months ago, um, but it has three tiers. It's the top section. I keep all of our unit study things as well as some read alouds, games, and activities. And then I have my preschooler and then I have my kindergartner on the bottom there. Um, but we'll go ahead and start with the top shelf. And these are all newer things that I pulled out of our either already bookshelf that we have growing or a few newer things I added in as well. Um, but the first thing I have as far as just extra activities are these geo boards. I have a geo boards game, but I also have the activity cards as well. And essentially what GeoBoards are is you learn counting, operations, and algebraic thinking, numbers and operations in base 10, measurements and data, geometry, all at like a preschool kindergarten level. It's really, really fun. So what this one is, is the student will pull out a little shape card and then with the rubber bands, they have to create that shape on the geo board here. This one was used from a previous activity. Um, but as you can tell, they have to just put the rubber bands on the geo board depending on what the actual card says to do. It's just really, really fun. So your step one is to compose the hexagon. So that's what they do. And then you kind of record or ask questions to the student. So how many sides does the hexagon have? So they'll go through and count it. Um, step two, below the hexagon, compose a rectangle without overlapping any bands. So they then would have to come down here and create a rectangle with the rubber bands. And then which shape, which shape has more sides and how many more? Um, so they just go through that. And then here's like the simple square, same thing. You go through composing of it and then you ask questions about it. So it's just a really fun game and activity all while um, just engaging the student and getting them used to kind of like a math type language. Um, so I have those two boards as well as the geo boards, the game, which is very, very similar. And again, this increases uh, mathematical interactions. It supports reasoning and mathematical communication. It includes suggestions for modifying gameplay to support or extend the instruction. Um, and it's a two game, so there's two game boards in here. Um, and it's just, yeah, really, really fun. And we've actually been enjoying the geo boards. It's really fun. So the first thing I have in here is of course the Hello Nature activity cards. I've actually shared about these quite a bit on my channel so this is like <laughs> no surprise or like any new information here. Um, but yeah, these are just little cards and the kiddos will pull out some of these um, depending on what they want to learn about and we'll just kind of take these out and kind of learn as we go. And they really take just like, you know, two to five minutes to go over all of the information on them. And I believe there are, yeah, 30 activities and little nature cards all together in them. But yeah, it's just a really, really fun, fun kit. Next thing I have in the basket is the 365 Read Aloud Bedtime Bible Stories. I, oops, I really like these because they are short. Um, so as you can tell, like day 20, day 21, um, they're very, very short. So for pretty much the entire simple story we are reading, um, they can pay attention to it and then they are able to actually remember what the story was about and it's not too long. So typically I will read the actual story and then I'll go into our actual Bible and read the passages from it and then we can kind of talk about it from there. But they are just short and simple enough to make the lesson not seem really long if that makes sense. So we're actually able to read the scripture out of the Bible and then go into the actual story um, to make that come alive a little bit more for them. Um, so this is a really, really great one. We've loved um, the 365 read aloud bedtime Bible stories, even though we don't use it at bedtime, obviously. 
And then we actually did this, um, yeah, we just started it yesterday, I believe. So this is a sight word bingo, and it comes with four different cards, and each card has, of course, all the different sight words on it. Um, so there's all kinds of just little cards on there. So we will normally play this with my kindergartner. He will lay out all four cards at the same time, and then the actual cards that we draw from are in this little baggie right here. I just kind of kept them separate since they don't fit in the box very well. Um, but we're going over this and he's actually doing really, really well with Sightword Bingo. So <laughs> it's so fun. I love turning everything into a game if at all possible because it really does make learning come to life and they enjoy it. Um, so on the same realm of like the game type things, I also have in here um, the math gears, subtraction in particular. I've also shared these a lot in my channel, um, but they're really, really fun. So you just turn this and he can go through all the numbers, <laughs> you know, five take away one, and then he will either write that on paper and then if he needs help, he can look at the answer there. But this is just a really fun, a fun little um, game slash activity for math. We just do, he really likes the addition one because obviously that's what he's um, most comfortable with. But the subtraction one is just another twist in the math game for him. So he really likes this. I've shared this series on our channel as well. Um, I have How to Behave and Why, and this is How to Speak Politely and Why, and there's a third one. I'll see if I can have them all linked down below for you. Um, but this is just a really fun book. The kiddos actually love these, so we'll do these normally after our Bible reading of the For the Morning, um, and it's just simple manners. Um, you know, <laughs> obviously, this is Ain't. Now you see why no one even likes to hear his name. Never say Ain't. That is just being lazy as he is. So instead, we say, I am not, you are not, he or she is not and so on so it's like teaching about how to speak politely um, all within like fun stories and fun poems and everything like that so we really really like this series it's really sweet and the kids love looking at all the little fun um, drawings and stuff in the book the next thing we have is the Kevin DeYoung, uh, The Biggest Story. And we are currently, yeah, we're finishing this up in the month of September. We'll probably end up starting it again because the kids like it. And this book just does a really, really good job of presenting the gospel to kiddos. Um, pretty much the entire story of the gospel from the beginning to the current day. So this is a really, really fun one and we've really been enjoying The Biggest Story. And this, again, is part of our kind of devotional part of the morning. Our kiddos have shown some really, really big interest in weather and specifically tornadoes so I have this um, guide to the weather it's a fairly decent like size book um, but yeah it is packed full of pretty much anything you could want to know about the weather obviously not everything but there is a lot of information in here and so we are kind of picking through this I will let my kindergartner pick through and see what he wants to learn about and then we'll normally go from there so I have this one right here and then I also have for our weather unit study that we'll be doing in September I have it inside the weather uh, by Mary Kay Carson and this is a really fun one as as well and it has a lot of like fold out pages and things like that um, to kind of engage the kids on and be more hands-on with that so they really like that and um, yeah we'll be doing a lot of different weather things for September since right now that is they're just fascinated with all things weather and um, like I said specifically tornadoes so we've been watching a lot of videos about tornadoes we have some weather books I have a few more on our shelf that I actually do need to probably grab and go ahead and put in here so I just remembered what those were but yeah, that is everything that we do together as far as our subjects and read alouds um, and things like that. So this is everything in my actual morning basket. All, if we finish, like we obviously we probably won't finish this. These are kind of almost always in our morning basket, if I'm honest, because they like picking a new one out every morning. Um, so until they like stop asking to do this, this will probably always stay in there. Um, and I'll rotate the math gears out. I'll probably put the addition one back in there um, in another week or so. But for the most part, everything in here will kind of stay in here, and like I said, until we finish it. We'll finish this up for the second time and probably rotate it out with another one, things like that. But the weather things, because there is so much information packed in the two weather books, those will probably stay in the basket for all of September because even if we did read a small chapter out of it every week, we probably still wouldn't get through it all. So. There is everything in the morning basket. 
So this is my preschooler shelf. On this shelf, I honestly just have the pre-K course book. And I also have for her, I shared this in my last video, um, the Scribbler to Scribe. She's also really been enjoying this as well. So we started this probably actually just a week ago, um, but she's getting into that. And then for her as well, I just have a few little Honestly, just really simple, bright, colorful little books. I think I got these from ChristianBook.com. Um, they were just like $2.50 a piece, I think. But they're just really fun, kind of like little busy work. So if I am working with my kindergartner, she can come down here and pick one of these. They're fun, they're colorful. And she really likes doing work out of those as well. And then of course down here in her stuff, I have just some little letter memory games. I have her Good and the Beautiful activities. And then her little pre-K alphabet flip book. And then down here as well, I just have the rest of her shape cards from um, Thistles and Biscuits. These are really, really pretty. So I'll have these linked down below as well for all the shapes. And then for my kindergartner, I have his Language Arts Level K, the actual course book. He is currently just finished up Unit 1. He's ready for Unit 2. Um, so we'll be starting that tomorrow. And then I also have his master books, Lessons for Living Education. I just did a video about this and an actual full review on this. Um, so I'll have that link down um, below or up above here if you want to check that out. Um, so yeah, those are the only two actual course books I have for him is a language arts and um, master books math. And then I also have a few of his little books that he's been reading to go along with his language arts course. Um, this is the one he just finished. Ben has a book. And then he also likes Is It a Cat and things like that. So I keep these in here as well as his um, some of his other phonics cards that also go with his book. And then the last thing I have in his section is a Level K reader um, that also goes along with the Good and Beautiful um, language arts course. But yeah, I do also have like a little handwriting thing for him, but I don't normally keep it on the shelf um, because it's a lot of loose leaf paper. So this is everything that's actually on our morning part. But yeah, that is everything that we will be doing for the month of September. <laughs>